Meghan Marco is all set to accompany her husband Prince Harry at an event in New York this week, as the prince will give a speech front of an informal General Assembly gathering of the United Nations, reported the Daily Mail. And it would be the first public appearance since last month's Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who relocated from the UK to Meghan's home state of California in 2020, are planning another trip to New York City. According to reports, a spokesperson for the United Nations confirmed to Daily Mail on Tuesday that the couple will be in New York for the UN. General Assembly to celebrate Nelson Mandela Day on the 18th of July. Prince Harry is expected to give an address. According to the outlet, Prince Harry's speech at the UN is expected to revolve around climate change and world hunger, two causes close to his heart. His non-profit Archiwill has earlier partnered with World Central Kitchen during COVID-19 and he also founded eco-travel non-profit Travelist. While Prince Harry is scheduled to be the star of the event, his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, is expected to attend the session in support of her husband in what will mark their first joint official appearance at an event after the Queen's Platinum Jubilee last month in the UK. Duchess Meghan appeared at the UN Women's Conference on International Women's Day in 2015. Her mom Doria Ragland was on hand as she gave an inspiring speech on gender equality. The Duchess said, UN Women, as you guys know, has defined the year 2030 as the expiration date for gender inequality. Harry's keynote address will take place during the informal gathering of the UN General Assembly on the 18th of July, which is also Nelson Mandela Day. This year's Nelson Mandela Day tagline is, do what you can with what you have, where you are. Prince Harry and Meghan are said to have been keen to honor Mandela since visiting his widow Grassa Mackle in 2019 during the couple's tour to Africa. The duo also visited the Nelson Mandela Centenary Exhibition in London back in July 2018. When Harry's mother met with Mandela in 1997, he said of Lady Diana's efforts to help those with AIDS, we saw her sitting on the beds of AIDS patients and shaking hands with them, and that changed perceptions dramatically with regards to AIDS. Nelson Mandela Day has been celebrated by the United Nations since 2009. To 2014, the assembly established the Nelson Mandela Prize, an award for those who have dedicated their lives to the service of humanity. According to the United Nations website, everyone has the ability and the responsibility to change the world for the better. Mandela Day is an occasion for all to take action and inspire change. This is Harry and Meghan's fourth trip to NY since they left the UK and moved there to settle in the US. In September 2021, Meghan and Harry visited New York City starting with a visit to One World Observatory at the World Trade Center with former Mayor Bill de Blasio, his wife Cherlaine McRae, their son Dante de Blasio and Governor Kathy Hochul. During the trip, they met with U.S. Ambassador to the UN. Linda Thomas Greenfield and Meghan read her children's book The Bench to second grade students at PS 123 Mahalia Jackson School in Harlem. The duo then appeared on stage at Global Citizen Live in Central Park, where they spoke up about the world's need for COVID-19 vaccine equity. The couple gathered with a key group of non-governmental organizations, executives, experts, public health officials and world leaders for a discussion on achieving shared global COVID-19 vaccine equity goals. Chelsea Clinton, vice chair of the Clinton Foundation, was also in attendance. Harry and Meghan also returned to New York City less than a year ago when they visited One World Trade Center two weeks after the 20th anniversary of the 11th of September terror attack. It comes after the couple were pictured alongside their young son Archie celebrating the 4th of July parade in Wyoming. They traveled from their beautiful home in Santa Barbara to Jackson Hole to enjoy the weekend, alongside some friends. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, 
Please leave a comment below this video of us.